Hello folks, Alessandro Baronti shooting this uh, video about uh, tips on how to improve uh, sales with the uh, proper visual merchandising from our beautiful showroom in uh, Los Angeles, uh, California. In the next few minutes I will walk you through some easy steps to help you accomplish uh, exactly uh, that. Now we're going to start with a clean slate over here, a, a, a display. Uh, what I define as a vignette uh, configuration. So the first step is for you to identify premier, primary real estate. Uh, why is that important? Because uh, most of you are heavily affected by vision managed care. 60, in some cases over 70% of your business. So upselling product in a vision managed care environment is going to be critical. We're going to leverage on branding, we're going to leverage on premium product. So your patients are walking into your optical dispensary, they're going to start to gravitate their shopping experience uh, going from the right side of the optical dispensary. That's considered primary real estate. So this is becomes now a destina destination point, a primary real estate uh, point. So let's clarify the concept of uh, vignette merchandising. As you can see, the display that was previously blanked now is uh, fully accessorized. Now what does this mean? Now it means that in your optical dispensary you should not carry more than 20 brands. Right? You heard me say that before. Your patient is walking through your optical dispensary, they're browsing the optical dispensary. In less than 10 seconds, they should know exactly the story that you're trying to tell them throughout the brand that you actually carry. Now, brands matter, but for brands to matter, they have to live in the right environment. So how do we accomplish that? First step, dedicated area to each brand. Now, in the perfect world, you will do something like this. In, this is a display of John Barbados. As you can see, there is only John Barbados product in this display. In the real world, you may have multiple brands in the same area. If you do so, make sure you identify each brand uh, properly. The second point is uh, wayfinding. What is wayfinding? Wayfinding is a way to direct your patient to a specific area, leveraging on two different components, the image and the logo. As you can see from the distance, it's pretty evident that this area is identified with an area dedicated to John Barbados. The third component is uh, lighting. Lighting is very important, probably the most important part. I suggest you a concept of pure white lighting system. Like in this case, in this uh, showroom, we have LED lighting. Why do we use LED lighting? Because it brightens the product. And also, it's a cold lighting system, so it doesn't overheat the acetate, so it's very safe for your product. The next tip is curated assortment. Now, proper product assortment using ideal assortment guideline is the key. I suggest a minimum of 25 units to represent the collection. Each style is represented in two. In these cases, we actually extend it to three different uh, colors. And now over here you can actually see the ultimate experience. So not only you have uh, a full assortment on display, but there is actually the entire John Barbados uh, collection in the trays over here to really take the experience uh, to, the next, uh, to the next level. The next step is digital asset to create an omni-channel experience. Now we recommend uh, Content Link from ONG. The other beauty about this uh, product offering that you can actually use your co-op dollars with the Rigo Ram to be able to sponsor this uh, program. And that will create an incredible tool uh, loaded with the uh, images, with the video, with the, the possibility for you to interact on an, on an online uh, catalog and much uh, more. Now this is storytelling. This is really going to help uh, consumers as they're shopping from the brand as you notice, I use the word consumers, not patient, because now they're shopping to really be able to immerse themselves in a true brand uh, experience. The other point that is uh, critical and probably the most important is uh, for you as you're working in the optical dispensary to learn your product. Now, if you carry 20 brands, you know, you will need to really learn what these 20 brands means. Now, we can help you with that when it comes to our product at the Rigo and uh, you can access our resource center throughout our website at uh, www.derigo.us. On the top right side of the website, you can click on a resource center, as you can see on the screen. Then you will go into the brand training, as you can see on uh, the screen. And we have a full uh, resource of uh, brand training for 
each collection of, uh, of, uh, of the Rigo. Now, uh, additional training that I may suggest, which are under the Education tab on the Resource Center, which is right here, is a training on our um, creating an experience, uh, the DNA of assortment, uh, of product assortment, and the art of uh, multiple uh, pairs. Um, I hope this was helpful and uh, hope to see you soon. Thank you.